Now for this question, we're given this parametric equation for the curve C. X equals natural log of t and y equals t squared minus 2, where t is greater than 0. And what we've got to find is an equation for the normal to the curve C at the point where t equals 3. So let's suppose that this is the point where t equals 3. And we're looking then for the equation of the normal through here, which is a line then perpendicular to the tangent. So if we have a tangent in here, let's just put the tangent like so, okay? Now, if we're to find the equation of the normal, then what I'm going to use is the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And I'm going to need to find a point x1, y1 on it, y1 on it and that's going to be when t equals 3. And m the gradient, well, I'm going to need to differentiate the curve, find dy by dx to get the gradient of the tangent. And then I'm going to do the negative reciprocal of that to get the perpendicular gradient m. And so I should therefore be able to find the equation of normal. So that's an outline then of how I'm going to go about this. And uh, if you want to pause the video at this stage and just have a go, then uh, just give you a moment to do that. Okay, well, let's just see how we carry on with this then. Well, as I said earlier, we need to find out what x1 and y1 are. So I'm going to work that out first of all. So when t equals 3, okay, we've got x, which will be our x1, is going to be equal to the natural log of 3, and y will equal 3 squared, which is 9, 9 take away 2, gives us 7. So we know the coordinates then at this point here, where t equals 3, are the natural log of 3 and 7. So I've got my x1, y1 values. Next I need to get the gradient in general at any point on this curve. And to do that, I need to find out what dy by dx is by the chain rule. And when we're doing dy by dx, we need to first of all find dx by dt and then dy by dt. So if we look at dx by dt, if we differentiate this with respect to t, we get 1 over t. And for dy by dt, dy by dt is going to be simply 2t. So for dy by dx, dy by dx by the chain rule is going to be equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. Okay, now we've got dy by dt then, it is equal to 2t, and if we multiply this by dt by dx, so we can just reciprocate this, and we get t, which equals 2t squared. So when t equals 3, we can work out now what dy by dx is. And so that's going to be 2 times 3 squared, 2 times 9, which is 18. So that's the gradient of our tangent then, at the point where t equals 3. So we now have that therefore the gradient of the normal must be the negative reciprocal of that. So I'll just write this introduction here. The gradient of the normal equals minus 1 18th. And so therefore, we're now in a position to state the equation of that normal. So therefore the equation of the normal okay, is, and then we just have to drop down here and say that it is y minus y1, y1 being the 7, equals m, the gradient is minus 1 18th, and then x minus x1, x1 being the natural log of 3. And because it said write down 
an equation for the normal. I'm just going to leave it like that and that generally is quite acceptable for questions of this nature. Okay.